Hello. Uh, today, I will introduce uh, our first generation of multi-beam mass collider, MBM-1000. And I will report some results obtained by Alpha 2. This is a roadmap of ITRS and uh, our mass collider roadmap. We, New Flair, keep on releasing leading edge mass collider's every two years to support semiconductor industry for 15 years. The latest product, uh, our latest writer is uh, EBM 9500 with three stage deflection system. And uh, we will launch multi mask writer to comply with ITRS roadmap and uh, catch up requirements from industry. We will release MVM 1000 in, in 2017 for N5, for which EUB this fee will be applied. And uh, MVM 2000 will be coming in 2019 for N3. This is a history of our writer development. Actually, we have started development of multi mask writer in 2012. And now we have Alpha 2 running and Beta 2 being assembled. This diagram shows the VSV system. It has shaping deflectors for variable shaped beams and deflectors for beam positioning. Key technologies for VSB writers are firstly single variable shaped beam and high current density and high speed deflection. Uh, currently, VSB writer is a leading edge mask writer, but uh, its advantage in the future could be a uh, best cost performance for a meat low pattern density. And uh, as you know, its limitation is high doses and pattern densities impact right time. Because uh, if pattern density is high, VSP writers use small size shots and shot count is increased. This is uh, our multi-beam system. I think you are familiar with uh, this system. It has single cathode, shaping aperture array, blanking aperture, and two-stage common deflectors. Key technology of multi-beam mask writer is uh, firstly massive number of beams and high-speed data pass and BAA and uh, gray beam writing. Its advantage is firstly constant write time for all pattern densities. Secondly, uh, it enables high doses. Uh, its limitation could be not cost effective for mid and low pattern density and doses. And uh, its inherent limitation is a narrow process window because of uh, gray beam. This is the uh, right time of multi-beam writer and VSV writers at resistance sensitivity of 75 microcoulomb. As I said, right time of multi-beam writer is uh, constant and independent of short count, but uh, right time of VSV writer increases as short count increases. And if we lower exposure dose, write time will be is reduced. But the cross point of BSV and multi beam is uh, around 200 gigashot count per pass in both cases. So uh, if I look write time again with respect to exposure dose, Lifetime of multi-beam 
in blue, and the VSB at the short count of 200 giga, uh, 250 giga shot is like this. So as exposure dose increases, write time increases. So if uh, short count increases, write time of VSB writer increases, but write time of multi-beam writer remains the same. So from this chart, I would say this area is, uh, in this area, multi-beam is better. And uh, I mean, the area where short count is more than 200 giga shot per pass and register sensitivity is exposure dose is larger than 75 microcoulomb. Uh, of course, uh, if a short count is small, VSB writer is much faster than VSB writers. <coughs> Key features of our writers, uh, our multi-beam writer is uh, firstly, high speed data pass with 10 bit dose control. It allows approximately 1,000 dose level per pass, which we think is mandatory for CD control better than 0.1 nanometer. And in our data pass, all collections are processed real time in line. We use a 50 kb single stage acceleration system. It brings high resistance to external dose through entire beam pass. And uh, we have electron source ready for current density of two ampere per square centimeter. And uh, we will increase it to four ampere per cent square centimeter for MVM 2000. So new features in MVM 1000 that I haven't mentioned yet is uh, air, we use air bearing stage. And we introduce new data format named MBF that supports polygon patterns to describe curve linear pat pattern effectively in terms of data size. Uh, this is a specification of our VSB writers and multi-beam writer. We will improve image placement and CD uniformity to meet requirement from industry. And multi-beam system will have new column with beam blur smaller than VSB system. And our target of mass write time is 12 hour at resistivity of 75 microcoulomb. We have alpha tool running at our factory in Yokohama for verification of printing performance. Uh, we are doing a patterning test, and this is one of the results. Uh, by using alpha tool, uh, we successfully resolved half pitch 20 nanometer patterns. And uh, if I compare the result, this result by the one obtained by EBM 9000, uh, I can say uh, patterning resolution of multi-beam is better than EBM 9000. So we have a cathode ready, new column ready, and the deflection system and the stage is ready for moving stage mode writing. Uh, we will upgrade BAA to HBM version in December this year. And the uh, data pass will be ready for MBF format input by October this year. So the schedule is uh, uh, we have a beta, we will have beta two and it's beam on in July. And uh, customer pattern demo will be available after October this year. And our final target is uh, as I said, to deliver HVM tool in Q4 2017. So 
I'd like to say thank you for EBIM Initiative and DCS for giving us opportunity of uh, my talk today. And uh, actually, D2S is working on uh, collection methods for MBIM 1000. And uh, I, we appreciate their collaboration with us. Thank you. <laughs>